Well, we have an interesting personality, someone who have uh, spent over three decades here in Doha, Qatar, who has helped a yeoman service uh, for the Sri Lankan sports community who comes often to Qatar. It's none other than Mr. Kumudu Fonseca, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, it's been absolutely great uh, that you have been helping so many Sri Lankan athletes. How does uh, this all come to you? <coughs> uh, I'm from St. Joseph's and then I was in the university. I was the sports council president of university. And I love sports. And um, I managed to uh, develop a school here called the Stafford uh, Sri Lankan School. And there also the, I consider uh, upbringing of children is the major for countries to develop in sports and education in both areas. So holistic education was given to me by my parents. And I am so indebted for that for my country as well to see that the sports is always given a chance and develop the children with balanced environment. It's interesting that uh, education and then giving the balanced environment in sports. But let's talk about this event where we are here for the Asian Athletic Championship. And also Himasha, you helped him to bring him here early on and get him climatized. Unfortunately, he was medalless. But uh, that is one aspect of the game. Because there could be so many other uncontrollable uh, aspects that we occurred, especially the weather inside the stadium, which is uh, magnificent. How do you think that Sri Lankan could have coped this issue? When it comes to uh, <coughs> uh, athletic is concerned, I have a past history of helping the Athletic Federation. Uh, when, uh, when it comes to uh, last Asian Games, uh, I was able to help a lot to Sri Lankans who came, the contingency who came. Also, the press who came was taken care of, about 40, 40 people were taken care of by me and uh, the group of people who always assist me. So uh, that is one area and we had Susantika uh, winning the uh, medals and uh, the performance was always uh, year 2006. Uh, that was an uh, eye-opener for many Sri Lankans here uh, to take our uh, flag in uh, different uh, areas of thought and bring the identity of the country and the image of the country. So when I know that uh, this contingency is coming and I got the opportunity uh, to know from Mr. Azanka, who is the Olympic uh, Sports Secretary, uh, telling that there is a gen gentleman coming and uh, uh, how, do, how can you uh, take care because he wants to come and get used to the track and he want to get used to the environment and uh, also the weather conditions. I said uh, I'm ready to help assist uh, uh, this athlete, Imansha. And he did a, uh, he was a nice uh, gentleman more than, uh, you know, uh, I was taught when I was playing cricket by my coach, you should be a sportsman not only in the field, out of the field. And I can tell you he's a gentleman in the ground I saw him in the track and coming out is the same. So this is what uh, I see. These are the people for the future will be role models for younger crowd to follow. That is the very reason, one very reason that I su support any sports event which is coming with Sri Lankan contingencies and integration. So uh, we, we need it uh, uh, to build societies from one generation to the other, how it shake hand is by such uh, personalities. So we must all rally around these personalities, give them the assistance, encouragement. And also when we do that, not only in sports, it uh, transfers, it complements to other areas also. Uh, when it comes to uh, social integration, it will happen the, because the how we gave leadership and how we team together in sports. The, what I saw, my 30 years of stay, I have been able to help assist construction because other people also comes to help me. School is concerned, it is the same. And I remember we were able to uh, use the school for tsunami. So when we get together in sports, it complement to many other areas. The how I look. Now it is the same when we were in college or universities. I'm telling you, sports is one particular area. Sri Lanka could capitalize a lot when it comes to Qatar. Qatar as a destination uh, for uh, Sri Lanka, 
we have around 40 flights per week uh, from Qatar Airways and Sri Lankan Airlines and other uh, uh, flights. So it is it has become very close. Uh, it is not 3,500 kilometers. We are only four four hours away. At any given time, we can go uh, faster than going to Hambantura from Kalambo. So these two countries have a long way to go. And Qatar is so developing in education and sports. Qatar Foundation is a, a model for any country to come and see and uh, copy. Uh, you know, co copying is not a uh, bad thing when it comes to research expenses are concerned. I, I consider it's a fantastic opportunity. Education people in Sri Lanka must come and see what the Qatar Foundation doing. Again, they are holistic education. They have all the sports there. It is the same when, I, when it comes to uh, other areas of sports is concerned. They aspire what they have done and the grounds which is coming. Now they are transferring it to football and they have the uh, f uh, 2020 coming in. Uh, and it goes on and they are well planned for the future. And 2030 is coming, 2030 economic plan. So sports is, uh, they want to take sports as a means of identity of this country to others. So uh, we as Sri Lankans, I'm not saying to take a, uh, to capitalize for our country, it is for mutually to complement both countries. Our uh, sports uh, leadership in the country should think more and mentor it with these uh, uh, organizations here, Olympic uh, organizations, and see how our sports can be developed. Uh, I would consider uh, uh, the Sri Lankan uh, government will take care of the sports because we have a hell of a potential. Now, you take in Qatar, the local population is about half a million. Yeah. The, the greatest asset of a country is human asset. And so we must be proud that we have 22 million. You understand? And more than that, uh, two and a half million people are working abroad. So that means wherever we go also, the world is ours. So if we believe on human uh, asset and develop the human asset in a such a way, it's not only our country will be benefited, the whole world will be benefited. And I would like to see the sportsman taking uh, the lead and going, you take Sangakkara, he, he performed the sports. At the same time, he took the ethics of the game and moral values of the game in MMC, uh, MCC. He was able to show uh, the charisma of a man and a sportsman from Sri Lanka. This is what we want. Even the World Cup when we win, we represent not just the, as a sportsman, we are taking the country to the whole world. Uh, you know, the numbers are great. Now, if you take it, Sri Lanka is strategic location. You take the uh, airlines are concerned, it's touching us, and we can integrate easily. At the same time, the whole world is looking at us. Now, you take it, uh, the problem which happened recently in Sri Lanka. Sports is one area that it can neutralize and give the harmony. If really uh, the state authorities would take its sports as a uh, plan to bring harmony and unity of the country, it will be great. There is a saying, unity is the best way of taking our chains off. We are chained now. Yeah. If you want to take the chains off, we need the unity. Sports is the best vehicle to take this as a mean to bring unity. Absolutely, because one example is that Vidusha, who, Vidusha Lakshani, who won the bronze medal in that triple jumper, uh, yesterday that uh, we are doing the interview today on Wednesday and uh, talking about that she's from Nigambo and uh, when she heard the news from the Nigambo church blast and she was like absolutely shocked it is just 24 hours prior to her jump because she was wondering and she's calling her house uh, home and parents no one is answering the phone so that is a more thing more suffer that she went through in the past 24 48 hours time but she managed to bring that harmony 
taking all her emotion to her with a black band on her right arm and she made it and she just waved the national flag for the first time in this international stadium here in Doha which is fascinating this is this is amazing when i went i saw uh, how patriotism with the sports people and uh, all of them were with a uh, especially starting with the 100 meters uh, he was wearing also a black band it it symbolize how people are today uh, suffering with this incident but again at the same time we cannot stop the march we we, we should not stop the march at the end of the day we have to live and we cannot let a small uh, minority to come and disturb our day to day life so soon we have to get out of it this is shown by the uh, the sports people yesterday day before yesterday it was there one would say you should not run following day our performance would have been bit higher than this for me if this problem was not there one would say it have nothing to do with it no it is back of their mind it alarm them all the time even at the time of the shoot they would have got that alarm uh, the when the start when the, the when they hear the start uh, uh, shooting they would have got it in the ears uh, what is happening in sri lanka so what i'm trying to say with all that what they showed to sri lankan people we cannot stop and let a minority a uh, small fraction of people to disturb our day to day life and we have to give it soon and sports is the best way of looking at a country than anything else this is what i have learned and i'm sharing with uh, you the uh, the the hub of sports uh, media what you are following i hope what i try to say is absorbed by people with uh, without any prejudice so i would say you, they, the sri lankan uh, federation must think kata as a uh, important hub for sports in the future we should have uh, something like workshops arranged with qatar government to come and do it here and they have a lot of hotels here uh, i consider today as a qatar uh, not a very expensive destination for uh, sports tourism so i'm uh, very much pretty uh, sure if we think in this direction and give our people the exposure uh, so i want these people to come come and experience the uh the facilities experience the nature at the same time mentor with people and feel we are one part of the world so kata is again i'm pushing sri lankan government should think having a bilateral relationship which is already there strengthen it and have a planned uh, march to give the best to our athletes Wonderful, sir. Some wonderful insight from Mr. Kumudu Fonseca. Thank you very much. We are privileged, and thank you for your accommodation for us in the beautiful hotel as well. We'll catch you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving this opportunity to talk to your media, sir.